Hi friends, welcome to another session of SAP ST. In this session, we'll discuss about one real-time scenario on OTC process. First, we have to understand what is the requirement. Requirement is what? Delivery is created with wrong material code. I want to delete 5,000 deliveries at a time. So, your requirement is what? We have to delete huge number of deliveries at a time. How? Here we have to see whether we can delete number of deliveries at a time in standard or we have to go for BDC, BAPI or some other tools to delete huge number of deliveries. So friends, we can able to delete huge number of deliveries in standard. I'll show you how to delete number of deliveries at a time in standard. So once again, I'll explain one more real time scenarios where we have deleted number of deliveries at a time. So this scenario you can explain in your interviews. So in standard process, customer placed order in web portal. Then order came to OMS. OMS is nothing but order management system. Then order will be sent to SAP system through middleware. Okay, so here I'll show you duplication of deliveries. So when customer placed order on web portal, list of order sent successfully to OMS system. And in OMS system, a file generated and file format sent to the SAP system for creation of sales order through middleware. But but here due to some technical issues, technical problem, data has not been sent from middleware to SAP system. So order has not been created. Thereafter, we, we, we found some technical issues and we have resolved that issues and again end user reprocess the data in middle layer. After reprocess of data in middle layer, order has been created successfully. Data has been sent to SAP, file format of list of sales order sent to the SAP system, order has been created and through backgrounds of deliveries also created successfully. Again, due to some technical problem, user reprocess same file twice in middleware. Then again, data sent to the SAP system successfully and list of order created. And in background job, through background job, delivery is created with reference to the sales order. So here, we have duplicate deliveries, number of duplicate deliveries created. Okay, so here at that point of time, there was no validation that system will restrict to send the duplicate delivery or orders, duplicate orders in middle layer. So that duplication of order creation has been occurred. Thereafter, they have they, they have updated, they have maintained some validation so that we can restrict the duplicate order creation. Okay, so now I'll tell you the steps. Suppose a duplicate order created, list of deliveries created, how we'll delete that deliveries, list of deliveries. So first we have to reverse the PGI. First we have to find out the list, how to find out the list go to billing due list transaction code transaction code for billing due list is bf04 then here i'll pass billing date for example i'll pass today's date only then i'll give sales organization execute so here 
I want to get list of deliveries. So how will get the list of duplicate deliveries? You will get you, you, you will export into the Excel. Then you can remove the duplicates entries. Or you can filter, you can get the table, you can get the data through tables. Then you can remove the duplicate entries and one set of entries you can delete. So suppose these are the list of sales order. Three deliveries. I want to copy this. If if if, if list is so long, then you can export into the excel then from excel you can copy suppose these are the number of delivery how i want to uh, sorry how i can delete at a time copy this first copy then we have to reverse without reverse pgi we cannot delivery we cannot delete deliveries so first step First step as per PPT, we have to we have to reverse the PGI. Transaction code for reverse PGI is VL09 slash N VL09. Pass your shipping point. Then here we have to pass the list of deliveries pass list of deliveries already copied so upload from clickboard then execute then again execute select all deliveries select all then click on reverse continue Please do it. Then second step, we have to go to VKM4. What is VKM4? VKM4 is for credit management. Order if delivery is uh, blocked for credit, then we can release by using VKM4 transaction code. Okay. If it is delivery release transaction code, which is blocked for credit, then how we can delete by using this transaction code? Yes, we can delete. I'll show you. So reverse PGA has been done. Before going to delete this list of sales, sorry, deliveries, I'll go to SE 16 and LIKP table. I'll check whether these deliveries are there or not in database table. So already there. Before delete, yes, we are having these many sales order in table. Now I have to delete. Go to VKM4. This is the transaction code to release deliveries, which is block for credit pass sales document number, means delivery number. Go to sales document and copy all deliveries, paste here. Paste. Then second, you have to uncheck. We have to check only deliveries, then reject and then save it. If you reject and save it, then all list of deliveries will be deleted from the database table. Execute. Now select all. Reject. Then give the reason for rejection. Give any region. Copy. Then save it. Save it. Then wait for some time. So through VKM4, we can delete list of deliveries without BDC and Papi. Now, 
has been deleted was rejected so first it will reject thereafter it will be deleted so go to again se 69 i'll check whether deliveries are there or not in table and i will not find find any single entries execute no data found all deliveries deleted successfully from the table so in this way we can delete huge number of deliveries at a time so guys if you have not yet subscribed our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification for upcoming sessions so guys thank you so much